What's up guys in huge RuneScape news? We have a bombshell guys, August 8th, a future deathmatching. It seems that deathmatching may be removed here guys, so let's just go over it quickly here and see what this is all about here squad because <clears throat> it's a huge thing about RuneScape. It's the only way people can gamble. It's like 50-50 if you have the right things, if it's like Darog. But hey, let's check it out. Since the removal of the duel arena in 2022, which is two years ago, when it started streaming again. Sorry, water, water. To stop activity which we deemed unacceptable in line with our real rules such as real world trading. Players have been pushing the boundaries of what is acceptable to replicate similar activities resembling what was previously available such as Xing, you know, trying to get advantage such as first hit, pit, all that good stuff. I used to be a staker, so I know about this stuff, guys. So, anyways, uh, uh, they made a clear community. Chucky's not allowed, Minuteman, all that good stuff. I'm not sure if we read that right. I did an uh, off stream. Anyways, deathmatching is where players fight each other in a PvP match to death, where high stakes are being gambled on the fight as the winner gets all loot and the money drop. This is majorly, if not always, linked to World War Trading. Obviously, as it is uh, dual arena related, players will uh, agree to standard set equipment and not heal in any way throughout the fight until one player has perished, leaving the victor to take claim to the money that was staked in quotation. <clears throat> Deathmatching takes away from genuine PvT PvP and has been an increasingly common way for players to engage in real world trading. These activities also encourage the purchase of accounts created and made with the intention of deathmatching. Admittedly, it's taken us some time to get to this point, but there's been good reason for it. Just as people moved away from the dual arena to PP worlds, doing what they do now, we expect them to do the same thing if we climb down on it in public spaces. This type of activity would likely move somewhere less visible. And with... Oh, so they're going to move it, actually. <coughs> And with, we're sure they'll continue to try. Oh, they're saying they would try to likely move it to somewhere else. We've been working hard to re to ensure they have a robust system in place to actually detect players. So they might they might they might develop like some sort of bot system to prevent this from happening or something. I don't know, guys, exactly, but whether they may whether. May, with, in, or without Gilnor. So here, here's the thing, here's the thing here, guys. As of 15 August, they are saying, death ma matching is no longer allowed and it violates the game's the chance section of our game's rules, guys. Player sounds will be subject to a, a ban. <clears throat> so first offense, you will get a three day ban and your, your gold removed, and then second, Continued fences will be permanent bans. But, they have this disclaimer saying, assured if you're engaging in regular PvP battles, you will not be impacted, guys. So, there's that, guys. Death matching, no longer a thing. <coughs> we kind of saw this coming, you know. A lot of people were just saying how they didn't want it in the game. Me, personally, I never really did death matching. I, I, had, my, I had my fair share... I had my fair share with regular old staking back in the day before they removed it, so hey. People were Xing, people were scamming. I, I didn't like the death to arena. Uh, other content creators felt the same way. Full text is on the screen. Check out osrs.game news page if you want to read the, read the full thing. Here, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.